are baking today from Emily's Everyday Pleasures book. We are making this very light and fresh cake. I actually just found these reusable silicone cupcake cups. So on theme with what we are trying to achieve here. We are going in the oven for how long? 350 for 38 to 43 minutes. Okay, should we make the marscapone cheese? Shall we? Yes. For all of you watching the vlog, Ellen chooses to do three one quarter pours yeah. of heavy whipping cream. What's the reasoning for this? Go do what I want, baby. And we are off. Ooh, this icing looks so good. And it's like so airy and cloudy. This is all killing right here, y'all. Look how perfect they are. Um, yeah, I didn't know or didn't remember that you had to oil it. So now it's all stuck to it, but. We're making plant-based burgers. Fries are cooking. Buns are toasting. The reason why we're making burgers is to try these new truck spicy mayonnaise. which are black truffle infused. Mm. We're on the clock right now. You know, the key to a good meal is kitchen rhythm. And what is kitchen rhythm? All your courses need to crescendo at the same time so they can be plated, hot, crispy, and juicy. Crispy, buttery, flaky. Crispy, buttery, <laughs> flaky. Oh, and this is our curious little girl. So, Kellen was saying earlier, you know, we don't really cook much. We do Saqqara meal prep, which is like a plant-based meal prep. But we're cooking because it's the weekend and there's so many smalls going and Willow is so it's probably stimulated and so curious. And Willow is so nippy right now. And whenever I hold her, she like tries to pull out my earring. She just did it to this one. And then this one she really latched onto last time. She's sitting in between my cardigan. Hi baby. Hi little angel. Hi little angel. I recently got into pickles and they're my new obsession. I'm really excited to eat these. We just got this really dope Balmuda toaster from one of Kellen's colleagues. Oh wow, it's getting real toasty in there. It's really cool though, because you put like a little bit of water and it makes it really moist. Um, so yeah, the first week we got this, we're just looking for things that we can toast. Another reason why we are eating these burgers. Oh, there she is again. Mm. Facts. I love you. And we are just about done. It is counting down. It's perfect buns. Okay. I need a knife. brioche buns, grilled onions with smashed avocados, and impossible beyond meat. And then Callan made some homemade fries that we put in this cup and a little bit of tissue to spruce it up. And I'm eating a side of onions and pickles. Mm, yummy. <laughs> I'm so Good morning guys, today is Sunday. It is the weekend. I slept in and I woke up and look what Kellen was up to. Right now we're just gonna knead this dough real quick. Mm. Just work it with the hands, just nice and easy. Yeah, just build that yeast up. We are taking another page out of Emily's book, Everyday Pleasures. We are cooking her version of Everything Bagels. Look at those hands go. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing this right, so comment below. I got my lemon water with my, of course, eight greens. But recently I tried this green juice at Creation and it really got me inspired to start juicing because the juice was so bomb. So maybe I'll shop for a juicer today. I've been saying that forever. Look how 
willow perfectly fit into that spot. She literally laid down and like backed up into it. We got her this jacket to wear at night. It's also, I think for the rain, we got her this light. Cause it's sweet stark, I think. She's a pretty girl. Here's the moment of truth. Oh, look at that. That's just so cute. This is our latest addition to our entryway. It looks so good. So it is another travertine piece. But I feel like this entryway was kind of just collecting random stuff when we just had like an old like shoe rack here. But this is so beautiful, such a great statement piece. And now we can build something on top here. Look at that. Let me show you guys what it looks like from the entry. Wow. Welcome to the entrance of our home. Architectural digest. Architectural Hi, poop. Hi, baby. Recycle. You're the cutest girl I've ever seen. You're the cutest girl I've ever seen. Oh yeah, that that random shoe rack. What was was what was at the entrance of our house, and it just honestly started collecting random stuff. Like we had a hand sanitizer pump on there, and some magazines on there for some reason. So that's definitely a glow up to this. Kellen just made a really good point that it actually looks crowded at this entryway. So we're gonna move it onto this side of the wall here, under this glass. Where did you get that? <laughs> Shit is hard. <laughs> look at this. Look at where the side looks like an actual. <laughs> what do you mean looks like? This is the hottest hat of the season. This is the new summer hat. <laughs> it's the summer hat by KitchenAid. This is. I'm sorry. Actually, my bad. My bad. This is the rain hat. This is the rain hat. And then this. This is from my new fucking summer collection. <laughs> Hold on. It's a spinner. Let me show you how you spin this shit. <laughs> this is a limited capsule collection. No. Guys, it's so hot. My pasties are literally falling off. Oh my god, they slipped down. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Totally. can see in the back we currently don't have a mattress we are getting a new one our <laughs> so our mattress is currently gone and yes that's a bat on the side of the bed but we were the mattress that we brought was from our old place in west hollywood and that was kellen's mattress and he had that for like over seven years so it's time to get a new one and we'll we put our new mattress in. We put all our bedding in the bathtub. We just put like a sheet over it. But honestly, just like how comfy that this look. I, I just want to climb in here and sleep in here. It's so cozy looking. Willow, come on. Ooh. So we are going to unroll this new mattress right now. We got a mattress from Helix and it's actually really convenient how they delivered it. Let me show y'all. Ooh, look at our new blinds or our new drapes in here. So this is a mattress. It's pretty small and compact. I feel like it's like my size. So we're just gonna go ahead and roll it in. Can I roll it? I no. think so, yeah. No, you got it. This is 
the shot. <laughs> Look at our new bedroom delivery woman. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Can you, uh... Oh, wow, you look so good right now. Look at this light. Look at this new mattress. We got the Midnight Lux and we took the quiz, basically. And you answer whether you're like a side sleeper, a back sleeper, the firmness, etc. Look at that, she settled in. My baby. She loves biting these sleeves because she thinks it's a, it's dull. Okay, now that we set the mattress down, we are using this mattress encasement Aller Zip Smooth. Tell me more about this. Well, this is critical. This protects your mattress and it keeps dust mites out, allergens out, prolongs the life of your mattress. I highly recommend one of these. Yeah, if you guys aren't already using it, but I think people are, right? Oh yeah, these are wildly popular. family's over that's my little brother he's growing out his hair and it looks so wild right now my parents are here Fran bought me kimbap and I was like that's it Ooh, let's do a snack haul. I asked my mom to bring me Korean snacks and Korean bread. I miss it so much and look how much she brought. Korean bread. Honey butter chips. You see that bread, y'all? <laughs> This is Kellen's first time trying honey butter chips. Okay. <laughs> 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 which she pre-washed, so I just had to plate. And she brought, you go, you don't Portable. Portable induction. Well, she brought this for um, Shabu, and then she also brought her own extension for it. Talk about Miss Ready. And I plated the food here. We have some shrimp and some udon noodles and some corn, which is my favorite. And then we have a little veggie medley, of course. Ooh, yummy. Korean bread snack mukbang. This is Kellen's first time having castera bread. That's my dad's favorite. Really soft, spongy. This is also one of my favorite Korean snacks. They're not rice krispie treats. No, they're not. What do you mean? What and are I feel like these are like real old That's school. That's insane. Like, Long tiggy is old school. Anything that comes in a package that big is really ridiculous. Well, well, well. Who's back here? <laughs> no special guests today, just for this road. We laid down these rocks before what it was. I honestly don't remember when we first moved in. It was just 
dirt and like random shrubbery. We pulled it all out and then we planted these beautiful roses that bloom year round, which is great. I really wanted earth angel roses, but those bloom like once a year. So we opted for these, but I'm really happy with them. They're super beautiful. And then in the front here, we also had a bunch of random shrubbery. Some is still hanging around, but we pulled. I was oh, was that a random shrub? Did we plant that? Okay, we planted that. So to match these white rocks, we also did white rocks here. And before, my windows were kind of blockaded because plants like grew up. So we took that out and then put that bench there. And it kind of looks like it just came with our home. This is day one of us officially starting to cook. We used to do, or we have one more week left of our Sakara plant-based meal plans, but we just want to start cooking. And I honestly just crave Asian food so much and some like warm, comforting food. And like as wholesome and great as Sakara is, I really did love them. We were on it for a really long time. I think just since we were on it for so long, it got a little bit redundant. So tonight with Shabu, Shabu's leftovers, Kellen is making some kind of sauce here. We're gonna eat it with shrimp and veggies. And he's cooking some rice. Free dinner snack. Good pa bang. Good pa bang. Bang. And welcome back. We were planning on making fried rice and our rice cooker isn't working, so Kellen is gonna fry our rice. He made his own little sauce. And I'm I'm just using sesame oil with some veggies right now and I'm just going to throw in some udon noodles. It's pretty good actually. It tastes mostly like sesame oil, but I have my panchan to save it. Today for lunch, I'm eating the Saqqara Tuesday dinner and this is actually the last week that we have a Saqqara getting delivered. I really love this program. It's a plant-based program. I just think that you know, we've been on it for, I don't even know, maybe maybe half a year, maybe I'm exaggerating, maybe I don't know the timeline, but it feels like it's been that long. The ingredients are very, very wholesome and great, as you can see. This is a forbidden rice pasta. Instead of Parmesan, they use nutritional yeast, and it has kale, iron, fiber, B12, collagen, productive vitamin C, so it's really packed with a lot of like strong, and really great super ingredients. So this is what I am eating for lunch today. And I recently found out about nutritional yeast and it basically tastes like cheese and I'm obsessed with it and that is all. And all of their packaging is recyclable of course and this is really, really sturdy. There's definitely been times when the delivery person has thrown the box over our gate and everything has stayed intact. This is one of my favorite snacks ever. It is the sweet potato. I'm just gonna put this in the oven at 350 for 45 to an hour. Alexa, set the timer for 50 minutes. This is the sweetest gift ever. This is from our YSL beauty family and they sent Kellen and I this wonderful note and also this amazing thing. I think this is so thoughtful first of all because it's personalized and also I feel like this is just really outside the box instead of like sending flowers and this is so thoughtful. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It has our date on it and of course they had to send along him and hers fragrances as well and this is the YSL Lieb. I love this one. This wears really well and I feel like it smells differently per body and then I just like mixing it with other scents too. And then Kellen loves the Y. He's tried that before as well. But this is just so sweet. I don't know where to put it yet so it's kind of sitting at our entrance here and I feel like it actually looks kind of good and yes that has a decanter. That has a decanter that I accidentally, I got that as a gift for someone and then for some reason I ended up ordering two. So now we have one and we don't drink. So it's just sitting here. It looks like a nice little shelf object, honestly. So, but I'm obsessed with this and so thoughtful. Thank you so much, YSL Beauty. Kellen got this idea because, <laughs> okay, don't scratch our walls. He, he has this huge frame that used to hold a piece of art and he had this really 
novel idea and it just came to him and he was like it'd be so cool if we just hung the frame and i agree i think it would look dope if the frame was dope but unfortunately that frame is quite lackluster and i think he wants to just hang that frame so he can hang something <laughs> to be honest i just want to talk to the people about our <laughs> no it's gonna go right here oh and look at our first piece of art that has ever it popped the cherry for this wall right here. It is our, one of our wedding photos from our dear friend Cam, it's so thoughtful. I'm just gonna you know, try to talk over Billie Eilish in the back, but our friend Cam got us for this. She was like, send us a photo. And I was like, this is such a thoughtful, thoughtful gift. Today is Sunday, meaning it is the perfect day to clean and get ready for the week. But we're also doing, once well, the music is still out of every room. We're doing some deep cleaning, spring cleaning. Willow! I just came into the best restroom. Willow! She's gonna try to make a run. Willow, leave it. 